Guess I get to see it with my own eyes. Jackpot. <laughs> Devil may cry. What's going on guys? This is RBG hitting you with something I haven't done in months and that is a Devil May Cry 5 update video or a Devil May Cry vid in general. You guys have been asking me when I'd post another one in regards to the possible DLC and honestly I didn't think there was much to talk about because besides the Banana Devil Breaker and Bloody Palace DLC there wasn't anything else coming down the pipeline. No additional story missions, no bonus characters like Lady, Trish, and Virgil, no nothing. So the best I could give you was a video filled with speculation on what we could possibly get in the future. But after Capcom came out and said that they weren't planning on releasing any more content, and the fact that the lead director Hideaki Itsuno was officially done and recently left the development team to work on another project, that only deterred me to not make a video talking about it. The game pretty much seemed done and I was totally fine with that. Like we got a good amount of content and unlike previous entries there wasn't anything that needed to be rebalanced. Were there things that I wish they added? Yeah, like I would have loved to play as the other characters like Virgil and I think they could have shown how Dante acquired the Balrog gauntlets which was featured in the DMC5 novel. I made like 4 videos covering all the stories that weren't included in that novel and a lot of you guys agreed that it would have been awesome if Capcom used those concepts in the actual game and expanded the lore. Like the whereabouts of Lucia and what happened to the original Cerberus Devil Arm. So many things could have been added as DLC or even a special edition for Devil May Cry 5. But unfortunately that was that. The only thing that's been keeping the game fun and relevant are the awesome modders out there who've taken it upon themselves to include something like a turbo mode or a playable Virgil. So if you happen to have Devil May Cry 5 on the PC, I highly recommend checking them out. But anyways, after months of quietness from Capcom regarding DMC5, they finally revealed something they had planned. During a panel at Anime Festival Orlando 2019, DMC voice actors Ruben Langdon and Dan Southworth reportedly showed a secret video from Capcom, but not before asking everyone in attendance to turn off their phones and cameras because they were about to show an exclusive. Ruben also went out of his way to mention that Capcom had given the panel permission to show it, and this got the DMC fandom speculating that it could be an announcement for a DLC or a Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. They would later take to a Facebook thread to get more details about this so-called exclusive footage and an ad man on Virgil's voice actor Dan Southworth's account replied saying that content shown during the panel would remain under wraps until Capcom officially reveals it themselves. Now it'd be awesome if this mystery footage did in fact turn out to be a DLC announcement for DMC5, but there's one thing we have to bring into question. Why would Capcom go out of their way to show something game related at an anime convention? It seems like that would have been more suitable for something like Gamescom which takes place in about a week. I guess it would be generous of Capcom to do that since most of the DMC5 cast was at the convention, but it just seems weird of them to do it, especially given that it could potentially be leaked online before it's officially revealed. We've seen how bad these behind closed doors things can be, especially with games like Marvel's Avengers which has been going through marketing hell. The anticipation for that game has gone from high to mid range because of all the things that have been leaked. Like I seriously doubt that the official release of their demo is going to make a big splash considering how we've already seen it through leaks. So whatever this footage was, I don't think it was something worth presenting at an anime panel. If anything, this would be the perfect time to unveil a trailer slash teaser to the newly announced Devil May Cry anime that's going to be on Netflix. If you remember 8 months ago, Castlevania series executive producer Adi Shankar announced that a DMC animated series was in development, but he didn't really give out any details on what style of animation they'd be going with or details on the story. Castlevania, thank you so much for joining us, but you have a big announcement for us. It's three letters. Okay. D. M. C. C. Devil may cry. I've acquired these rights myself so that the jabronis in Hollywood can't f this one up too. All he said was that Castlevania and the DMC series would exist in what he and his team referred to as the bootleg universe. And I think this is something people misconstrued, like there were a lot of people saying that this meant that the new DMC Netflix series would exist in the same universe as Castlevania. But he's essentially saying that it'll be his take on the story. 
Obviously, the Castlevania animated series went into its own direction on what they'd adapt and what they would change, and that's why he calls everything he works on the bootleg version or a part of his bootleg universe. So don't expect these series to cross, or at least anytime soon. There's currently plans to do a third season for Castlevania, and I'm pretty sure if they haven't started on it yet, they most likely will once they finish their bootleg DMC anime. So think of it as Adi Shankar's bootleg multiverse. But yeah, it totally seems like Capcom gave the voice actors the go ahead to reveal something related to the DMC anime. And if this turns out to be true, then it pretty much confirms that Netflix will be using the original voice cast. That's one aspect that I was very weary about because the anime and video game voice acting industries are two different wings on the same bird. You have actors who are guaranteed a job for playing characters and you have actors who are not. Like, you know that if there's another DMC game coming out that it'll have actors like Ruben Langdon and Johnny Young Boss returning to voice their respective characters. But it's a little different on the anime side of things, because you have your union actors who have a better chance at landing a role based on their credentials, and you have actors who are known for voicing certain characters, but the chances of them getting to play that character again are slim if they're not a part of the union. So a union voice actor like Troy Baker could wind up playing Dante in the DMC anime instead of Ruben Langdon. Thankfully, that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen since Ruben is the one who revealed that supposed anime teaser. And this is just awesome man, like I'm pretty sure a lot of people forgot the Netflix DMC series was even a thing. Which is totally understandable because the announcement was a little under the radar. I think we talked about it for like a week or so and that was it. Because we knew it'd be a long while before we actually saw something of it. Some of the things I wondered about this newly announced series was what direction the animation would go in. Because if I'm gonna be honest, anime fans like me get nervous when we hear that a popular anime series is getting picked up by Netflix. Like let's be real, their track record has been a little iffy, because the quality in their original anime does vary from time to time. While they've produced high quality shows like Devilman Crybaby and Castlevania, they've also produced shows that are lacking in the visual department. Instead of going for the traditional 2D style that allows for more flexible and flashy animation, we now have these weird 3D CG animes, and those don't always turn out well. We've seen a lot of popular franchises suffer from this like the Saint Seiya anime which is one of the worst offenders. Things just don't look natural when you translate them to CG, like it reminds me of a bad Pixar knockoff with a small budget. Now I just want to note that this is not necessarily Netflix's fault, like I know a lot of you want to point the blame at them but it's entirely up to the studios to decide what style of animation they want to go for. And I've said this before, since Netflix is paying these animation studios a ton of money that they can make back from productions, they're choosing to go the cheaper and faster route with 3D animation. That basically means they're getting a wad of money for a half ass produced project. And that sucks because I don't think Netflix is aware of what a good quality anime is. They're basically throwing money at all of these studios to fill up their anime streaming library. On one hand, I can't be mad at the studio for wanting to go this route because the anime industry can be cutthroat. Animators are put through grueling hours to deliver high quality animation, not to mention that they're underpaid for their work. So the fact that a studio can make back their budget and then some for a CG anime and pay their staff back is good in a way. But on the other hand, it's a shitty business practice. If Netflix is paying you a ton of cash, you could at least use it to produce an anime that's worth what they paid you for. Thankfully, I don't think this practice will be the case for the new DMC anime, since we have someone who's very adamant about keeping 2D animation alive overseeing the project. Because Adi Shankar has shown that he's in the minority that thinks the quality in modern animation has dropped. He wishes it would go back to the older times where it was more darker and serious. In an interview, he mentioned that series like Berserk desperately need to be done right because over the past few years it's suffered from bad CG animation. He also talks about his love for some of the early 90s style animation like Ninja Scroll and how he wishes Berserk had that level of quality. And many fans agree with his sentiments. So much to the point that they started campaigning for him to do an animated adaptation of Berserk. Judging by how good the animation looked in Castlevania, I think it's safe to say that this new series is going to be in good hands. And as I mentioned earlier, it's very likely that the secret footage that was shown off at the anime convention was the DMC series. I have a feeling we'll be seeing it soon because Adi Shankar has been very active on Instagram and he's been posting a lot of Devil May Cry pictures, pretty much alluding to what will be in the show. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this could potentially be a new DLC reveal for DMC5? Or do you think it's the new Devil May Cry anime? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I ask that you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. 
Any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on my channel. But if you really enjoyed the video, it would help me out tremendously if you shared it on social media outlets with all your friends and followers. Sharing really makes a difference. But this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.